The Turkish aerospace and defence industry hits new highs in 2023, recording a 25% increase in exports from the year before. Aselsan is one of the industry's biggest names. General Manager Ahmed Akil spoke to TRT and says the sector is on track to break new records. Here's why. The Turkish defence industry has made significant advancements in recent years. Uh, we reach an export level of $5.5 billion as a defence industry, and we have particularly gained momentum in platform production. As you know, now we are producing helicopters, UAVs, ships, tanks, armoured vehicles, satellites, and cutting down the days for flying on combat aircraft. And Aselsan is the flagship of this successful story, and we are providing all systems and electronics for these platforms. And now let's go to other top stories from around the world. The UK's labour market has showed more signs of tightening as unemployment unexpectedly ticked down. The jobless rate fell to 3.8% in the three months to December, down from 3.9% in the previous quarter. But the average pay growth, excluding bonuses, was 6.2% during the period, marking the slowest increase in more than two years. France has suspended a scheme to lease electric cars from just $109 a month. It comes after the government more than doubled its subsidies for the number of vehicles planned for 2024. Launched in December last year, the policy was to make electric vehicles more affordable to low-income households. Authorities say they plan to relaunch the programme at the end of this year. And thousands of drivers for Uber, Lyft and DoorDash will stop working on Wednesday to protest over pay and unsafe working conditions. The drivers, who are not considered full employees but independent contractors, argue that the companies pay them too little and keep too much of the money they earn.